Backbreaker is, in our opinion, the first sports game that is truly live. Whatever you see on the field hasn't happened before and won't happen again. And the way we achieve that is we use Euphoria to actually calculate the action on the fly. So that means that you can't predict the gameplay anymore. But it also means that everything becomes much more intense. And what we've done with Backbreaker is add to that a third-person camera. We don't really want to chase a broadcast experience that's already done very well by other games. What we try and do is take you onto the field and make it feel like you are actually a player on the field. You are down low, you are in the action, you'll, you'll see the tackles. All the interactions and all the, all the uh, things you didn't expect are happening right around you as opposed to you feeling quite detached and looking down on them. You're not this kind of god over the football field who can see everything. Some people have kind of thrown their hands up and go, wow, this is sacrilege. You know, I've been playing football games for 20 years and this is, I've never seen this before. This camera view is something that we've been planning from day one. It's not something that can be retrofitted to uh, you know, a, a game that's been designed already. You know, this is something that was important to us right from the outset. The live element comes from the fact that obviously we have euphoria in the game and literally anything can happen. It's not pre-scripted, it's not canned animation. E4 gives you the opportunity to do anything. I think where if you're just using pure mocap, it's all very, although it's not necessarily scripted, it's all sequential. Mm. Where E4 it can do anything. We can at any point, we can uh, do a tackle, we can do a catch, do a block, we can fall over, get up, do anything. Now, the Euphoria engine that allows the game to create these real live, dynamic, on the fly tackles that you'll never see in any other kind of game. It's, it's a lot about the game doing things you didn't anticipate, but the simulation can accommodate and the player's reaction to that. I think that's one thing that other games can't do. One of the things that impressed me most is the, uh, the interaction between the offensive and the defensive line. It's not just the tackles that are different. Every battle on the offensive line is different and every individual matchup changes from play to play. And that's something you'll never see on another football game. One of the things that was important for us with Backbreaker was to make it as easy to play as possible. It was designed to be a pick-up-and-play game from the outset. One thing we really sort of wanted to avoid with traditional football games is you generally have abstract events mapped to numerous different kinds of buttons, which it's not as though they don't make sense, but it's not something you can gauge immediately when you're playing it. And we didn't really want the player to look through a four or five page manual to find out how to juke or how to spin. So the philosophy from the start was we'd look at the, the physical action of the player on the field so if you imagine he's duking right, and we'd literally take that and map it to the stick. So a duke right would be a right movement on the right stick, or a spin would be a rotation of the right stick. And what we wanted to do, and hopefully what we'd achieve, is the player could almost guess, anticipate what the controls would be just by looking at the action they want to perform. Sport in real life gets you those kind of unique, exciting moments that you never see in video games. The revolutionary aspect of Backbreaker using Euphoria is that it enables the game to recreate these incredibly intense, exciting sporting moments.